Okay, what do we got? No opening statements in the spring training. So you guys have the questions. Hey, Scott, Jerry told us after we talked to you, but have you had a chance to talk to Taylor? Yep. Where is he at mentally right now? Yeah, he's, he's disappointed, um, like any player would be. I think we were really excited. I know he was too. He put a ton of work in this offseason. Um, you know, making some adjustments with his swing, and I was really excited about that. His body's in great shape, but things happen. Uh, unfortunately, it's nothing. You know, he's going to miss a little time, but it's nothing career-threatening or anything like that. So he'll be back. Just timing's everything, and you know, um, in this game, when you as a player, when you know you, there could be opportunity there for you, and now you don't get a chance to see how it plays out. It's it's, it's frustrating for him. Was it just kind of? a just he got hit by a pitch or hit by a Yeah, hey, I'm not exactly sure how it happened. Normally, handmade happens when you're swinging the bat, um, you know, off the knob. You know, it's right down in here. Um, but I talked to him. Actually, it was going through physicals the first day when I just talked to him a little bit. But, you know, he'll get the surgery done. I think it's happening today. Um, and then be back here and start rehabbing. What were you so encouraged about the adjustments that he made? Um, you know, he's got some things in his swing and his adjustability of his swing to be able to handle more off-speed pitches and different things like that, pitches in different parts of the zone. He's got all kinds of natural ability. Nobody hits the ball as harder or farther than this guy can hit it. But it's about, you know, game speed, making adjustments, and that's how he was training all off-season, and he made some good strides. Could this maybe open the door for a guy like Cade to play his way into some consideration? Well, they get there's some other guys. Obviously, the Taylor won't be getting any at bats, so those at bats will go to other people, and then you know, see if they take it and run. Scott, what is the next like week or so for you with just pitchers and catchers <laughs> down here? I mean, it's busy. It's, yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of bodies. This is the biggest camp we've ever had. You know, there's like 74, 75 players in here. Um, so normally at camp, you're usually around 60, 65-ish. Um, we're a little bit bigger this year because of WBC, and, and there'll be opportunities uh, for some younger players. Not only that, you'll see some guys get called up from mini camp and, and stuff like that. So it's busy. But uh, um, the fact that you know, our coaching staff has been together now for a while, we have a certain you know, rhythm to what we do and how we prepare. Again, this spring training is a full spring training, so we don't have to go 100 miles an hour on day one. We can slow it down a little bit, which is good. I think it's really important to go back to square one. Day one of spring training, or starting today with pitchers and catchers, you can't assume anything. You kind of start all over. Um, you know, we'll spend some time on controlling the running game and talking about the rule changes and things like that. So every year presents its, its different challenges. We just address it and, and go from there. We'll start today. How refreshing is it to have some normalcy after the past three spring trainings and just all the, the Yeah, I think a lot of us kind of prefer, you know, prefer the shorter spring, quite honest. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, it gives you time to build up. We've got five days of pitchers and catchers, and then we'll, we'll go full squad for three days, and boom, we're in a game, you know. Um, so, and I think, you know, it'll be a little bit different look to the lineups early on in spring. Certainly the, the three position players we have going to the WBC are going to want to play a lot early so they can kind of get up to speed and get their timing down at the plate where may slow play some of the other guys. So we'll see. Um, I know this is a few weeks away, but are there any players you're specifically looking forward to playing in with J-Rod? Oscar moving like going to play in WBC, guys that are going to get more at-bats you're looking forward to seeing? Well, you, you're going to get a chance to see some of the younger guys that we haven't seen that. Young kid like Classe, you get a chance to play, and, and you know, Kate Marlowe will get a chance to play a little bit more because those guys are not uh, around on a consistent basis. So, um, you know, every spring somebody steps up and they'll have a great spring and hit three or four homers, and they'll do it early, and we get all excited about it, and it gives you guys something to write about. And I'm sure there'll be a guy this year that does the same thing. Scott, is there any uh, matter of housekeeping, uh, any guys you anticipate? not being on time or is everybody going to be here? Um, we've got one pitcher, I think his wife is expecting any day. Um, that is Jose Rodriguez, the other J-Rod. Um, so um, he may be a little bit late. Uh, that's about the only one that, that I'm, and he's in the States, uh, but take care of family. Um, Jerry mentioned talking about the decision for Luis Castillo not to pitch in the WC was kind of a joint decision. What kind of benefit and value does it have to have him here for a full camp? Oh, a lot. I mean, obviously we brought him in mid-season. He's never gone through a full season with us in our camp and whatnot. But, uh, um, you know, I, I think it's really challenging um, for pitchers, all players, really to ramp it up that quick uh, when you're playing for high stakes right out of the chute and they really haven't been up to the 
the intensity level yet. So uh, I think it was, like I said, decision on, on Luis's part and our part. Um, I'm excited to have mid-camp uh, get a chance for him to have a normal build-up, not have to ramp him up really quick. So um, it's good. You know, I, I uh, again we haven't been around him in spring training, so kind of get a feel. It takes a little while, like. You know, this is different from Robbie Ray. We now know how Robbie Ray re uh, prepares for a season, having gone through it before. So we'll spend a lot of time talking to Luis and make sure he's ready right out of the shoot. We're going to talk to Robbie here in like a half hour. So I, I know a lot of people get harped up on how it seemed that the season ended, but just how big was he there for you for I mean, a two or three month stretch there? In the middle of the last he was our best pitcher. I think people forget that. You know, he was a stretch of about. You know, the season started off a little shaky. Remember, he'd have a, he had that one big inning that would always kind of set him back in a few games, and then he got on a really good roll for us. There was about a 100, 100 inning stretch. He's one of the best pitchers in the American League, uh, and really carried us. So uh, I know people tend to get caught up on you know a bad pitch here or there, or things didn't work out right. Hey, he was awesome for us all year long, and and um, he's had a little bit different off season. He's in really good shape. Um, he's threw more bullpens before he came into camp, different than what he did the year before. Um, Robbie's always working on maybe something a little bit different. So, um, you know, working on a new pitch and see if that helps. So he's in a really good spot mentally and physically. A lot of guys, when they sign a big contract, come in and talk about wanting to lead, but it seemed like he really embodied that last year. How did you see the maturation of his leadership, with the, especially your young rotation? Uh, I think he, um, Robbie is going to go about you know, his work and he's real, I think, structured and methodical in what he does. He's been through it and kind of knows what works for him. He did not force his personality on anybody. He kind of let the younger guys come to him. And then, you know, when we needed him to, to step up there late in the season, um, I thought he did a lot of things from a leadership standpoint, not just to help our pitchers, but to help our team. And that's exactly what you're hoping for. Over time, you know, he settles in, he gets comfortable, and that's what we saw happen. And, and uh, we needed it. You need those guys to step up and in the clubhouse as well as on the field, and he, he certainly did that. Scott, or Jerry always says, you know, when some guys aren't linear in their path, Robbie Ray's path has never been linear. Yeah. He's been up, he's been down, he's been kind of all over the place. I mean, how much value is that when he can look at somebody and say, if somebody's struggling, say, hey, I've been there, I know what this is and what it means? There's a lot of value in it. I think once you go through it as a player, um, and then you can come out of it, you know, if you're in that, that, you know, you feel like, oh my God, this is terrible. I'm at the, the low point of my career. And then you kind of crawl your way out of it and you want to sign young. Oh yeah, there's tremendous value um, for all of our guys because uh, there's not too many players in this league, not just Robbie, but anybody that just keeps going, you know, straight upward you know, trajectory. And you're going to have some, some step backs, some, some fall backs, whatever. So, you know, it's just a, another way to help guys when they're down a little bit. And not just, I think, the, Pitchers. I think everybody says, ah, it's just pitches. No, he has helped a lot of our young position players as well. What's the new pitch that he's been working on this offseason? Mm, I'll let him tell you that. Knuckleball? <laughs> no, probably won't be that. <laughs> no, it says he's always got something going, so all good. And it can't be a changeup. Come out too hot, probably. Yeah, well, these guys, they always have a new pitch. Yeah. 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 I saw Brash as a pitch the other day. I said, ah. Keep the ones you got, they're pretty good. Keep <laughs> be with your third best pitch, right? That's one way to look at it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's uh yeah, it's 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 they have downtime and they listen to all kinds of people and but they have really good stuff. I mean, you know, I'll talk to the pitchers and catchers today a little bit. I think the um you know the strength of our team was our pitching last year. I mean, anybody can question that and we play very good defense behind them. And um, it'll be the key going forward. It'll be the key for as long as you know I'm here with the Mariners for sure. It's certainly how we're built and uh, how the ballpark plays and whatnot. So um, yeah, we got to lean on those guys really heavy. Uh, we'll do it again this year. We got to keep them healthy. Uh, but it's a good group. Run prevention is a real thing. It is real. Okay. Yes. Yeah. It'll be. You know, I'm curious to see how the, the no shift plays out. You know, is there going to be more offense created? Um, I think there will be. Let's leave batting average last year, 242, 243. That's going to go up. You know, Was it lower than that? I think it was lower than that. But was, yeah. Yeah, check it out. I thought it was 242. You probably. I mean, I. No, I'm going to trust you. You got it. <laughs> yeah. You gave me that it look like lower. Nah, you're wrong. It feels, it feels, it feels I think, I think it was. Oh, Adam will give it to me. Yeah. What? Are you texting somebody? Or I'm, I'm Googling it. it. Okay. <laughs> um, that's, batting average is going to come up. Sure. It, it will. Um, premium defenders. You know, with a little bit more range, you're really going to play, play in. So.
243. Oh, close. I started at 243, then I kind of hedged my bet. Yeah. When you guys think of me the one. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Okay. First day. Easy one. Go get them. They're out there for you. Okay. Yeah.